Welcome to Buoyancy, folks. We are going to start up a series on uh, Buoyancy and find out what that's all about. It seems like a really fun game. You, uh, you're building a floating city and moving around, gathering scrap and plastic and stuff like that. In order to expand your city, you can be attacked by pirates and all sorts of things. There are other cities that you can trade with. And yeah, it, it just seems really cool. So let's start a new game, and we will call the city Nerdass City, and start game. Okay, so we want scavengers. So let's see. Let's bring up the build menu. I think the first thing we need to do is build a fissure. Uh, actually, I want a bridge. Uh, so I just tried it, uh, tried the game a little bit, not that much, and it's it seems really really cool. So let's build a bridge here and build another bridge here, and then we can build a fisher up there and a scavenger. All right, so you can sail around by right-clicking here. You can sail around and pick up stuff. So we'll pick up these floating crates, and then we'll go over to this driftwood pile and gather some driftwood. There's some trash. There's some fish. There's some vivers over there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let's head over to the driftwood pile and get some wood. So we have some plastic, we have scrap metal junk, which is the most common product in plastic. Okay. We can get some dirt, wood, metal. We need fresh water, of course, grains. Let's build an evaporator so that we can get some fresh water. Uh, I build, uh, one of those. One of those. And an evaporator. I think we can actually build the evaporator. Something like here. So let's come backwards a little bit so that we're gathering this driftwood. And now he's outside. We so you can see the area that the driftwood covers, and we need the scavenger to be inside that area. So there we go. All right. So now we are gathering driftwood. And we have our fisher. We need a forager as well. Hmm. And. I've only played very, very short time, so I don't know how good this is to get. I don't really know much about the game, so we'll we'll learn together. But we are getting driftwood in. We have some seaweed and some fish for food and a bit of beer, but we have no fresh water, so we really need this evaporator to get built. And. It will as soon as we get some wood okay it's getting wood now oh we need steel which or metal which we don't have so we need to get some metal i think we can get that from the trash pile maybe but first we'll go over to this survivor's rasp pick them up and pick up the fish there Go to that trash pile and then go over here. 
Let's see, what do we need to build a forager? Should only need wood. So let's build the forager down here. Actually, no. Let's deconstruct it. Because I think I want these things to be close to each other. So let's build the forager up here. We don't want them too close to each other, I've heard. Whoops. Because then the buildings will reduce slower because they're close to other buildings. Okay, there's the... That's the driftwood gone, so... Where, where did those survivors go? Did they disappear? I think they disappeared. Oh no, they're, they're, there they are. Let's head over to them. We can rotate our ship as well, or our city. So let's come about and go this way. And pick up these survivors. We need a few people. We only have 10 right now. So, yeah. All right. Here we go. More raft. Let's rescue them. And let's go up to the school of fish. Get some fishing going. Let's rotate the ship. It's just inside. All right. And then we'll go to the trash pile and then over here to the kelp forest and that school of fish. So all right, so we're fishing now. Wow, we just had 17 fish or something. Now we have zero. But I thought fishing worked the other way, that we should get more fish. Okay. We're fishing. We're foraging. We're scavenging, which produces a little bit of resources all the time, even though it's not on a on a patch of something, it still produces some resources. Oh so, yeah, all right. So let's see, school of fish resources left thirty five percent. Actually, caught fish can fish can feed a budding city. Provides many medium amounts of nourishment gathered by fisher. Right, twenty five percent of resources left. Our storage is fine, but we do need to build another storage soon, I think. Our evaporator still hasn't been built because we're missing the metal. So hopefully, we'll get some metal from the trash pile here. We can build a smelter. We don't have enough junk for it, but I think we need to build one. Let's build... Actually, let's build a bridge out this way. And then put a smelter here. So the fish are gone, so let's head up to the trash pile here. Okay. And you can see here that people are rowing. So we don't have an engine or anything like that. People are rowing. There's some clouds there. So there's a kelp forest and a school of fish, which we'll go to next, I think. And then probably head over to the trading post to get some, some resources. 
Right, so we're getting junk here. I guess. Scrap, metal, and junk we're getting. We should be getting. Yep. And that means that our smelter can be built soon. Which is great. Fishing and scavenging. So let's have a look. So the trash pile, it gives us junk and it gives us scrap metal. And the scrap metal we can then turn into metal in the smelter. And then we can turn and then we can get the evaporator built so that we get fresh water, which we need. So we're up to 16 people, our happiness is reasonable, our nourishment is reasonable, and hunger is pretty okay. So yeah, 20% of resources left. Okay, so where are we going next? We're going over here to this kelp forest and school of fish. All right. We are producing metal now. So, construction material for our advanced buildings, melted down from scrap metal and produced by smelted, produced by smelter, I guess I should say. Okay, it's working on some metal. We are done with the trash pile, so let's come about. And head over here. So there we go. And there we go. Nice. That'll give us some food. And then we're heading over to that trading post. Ooh, we have seven metal now. Our and our Evaporator is done, so we'll be getting fresh water now. Once we get some wood, we are out of wood. But we're gathering from the kelp forest and we're gathering from the school of fish. So our food situation is pretty good right now. See how much is left here, 25 and 60. Okay, what was that over there? That's another kelp forest, a destroyed ship, survivor's raft. Uh, what's that? That's a city, I think. Okay, so the kelp forest is gone, but the school of fish still has some left. We're doing very well on that. Uh, water evaporator needs more wood. Maybe these floating crates, crates can give us some wood. School of fish, 13% left. We're making metal. Very good. And almost gone. We have tons of fish now, which is great. Come on. Let's speed up a bit. A bit slow on the lowest speed, I think. Oh, there we go, and let's head over to the trading post and try and get some fresh water. Okay, trade post, trade. Let's see, they want plastic, meat, blubber, fish, scrap metal. Uh, we don't really want to get rid of any of that. They don't have any water. 
Well, that kind of sucks. You have some wood though. So 19 wood. Trade value of 38. Let's let's do this and confirm the trade and leave. So what do we have up here? Destroyed ship, floating floating crates. Let's go that way. And a kelp forest. Let's stop at the kelp forest. So hopefully our evaporator is evaporating now. Whoops. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, let's come a little bit closer so our forager gets into the kelp forest here. All right. And let's gather some kelp. Kelp is not great, I think. An easily gathered uh, but unsustainable food that can also be re refined into med medicine. Gathered by forager. Okay. Okay. So 80%. I really want the speed up to 2. 1 is just too slow, I think. We'll pick up those crates and then go over to the ship over there. Let's see what else do we want to build right now I think hmm I guess we need a storehouse it's 40 middle pieces we also need some stuff here. Trains, rangers that excel at shooting enemies, rangers of poor at melee and destroying buildings. Trains, guards that will defend against invading forces. Guards can be also be used offensively when when invading another city. Okay. I think basically we want another fisher, another scavenger, and another forager right now. I think that's our main goal, to get more of those kinds of things. Let's come over and get these, whoa, crates. And then we'll go up to the destroyed ship and try and get that. All right, we have fresh water now, so that's great. That should help. All right, we got the crates. Five metal. Nice. What was this down here? Thought there was something. No. Nope. Okay. The survivor's raft. That could actually be very good. The kelp forest and school of fish. Whale. We don't have a harpooner yet, so. That's not going to be practical. I actually think we can... If we... Backward a tad... We're not bumping into it. We're just... It's just stopped because of being close to the ship. So it's not like I'm banging into it all the time. All right. We're in day five. We're scavenging now. What do we get from the destroyed ship? We get scrap metal. Okay, I guess that's fine. We really need to find some wood piles. But until this ship is gone, we'll stay here, and then we'll head on over and... Where are the survivors? They're there. I think we could do with some more survivors. Alright, let's go. Uh, we 
don't have the resources to build a bridge, do we? Cost 30? Jesus. 30 wood to build a bridge. That's kind of a lot. Alright, so resources left. Where was were the survivors? They were... Where were the survivors? I have no idea. Alright, we'll find some others. A bit cloudy here at the moment. Let's grab this stuff. Here we go. Destroyed ship. We really need wood. That loading crates. That's a little bit annoying. There's a survivor's raft. And there's two driftwood piles. Alright, we're he heading that way afterwards. That way. And I'm not letting leave, letting it out of my sight. Kelp Forest is already gone. School of Fish is well on its way. Alright. We have a lot of kelp. We have some fish. Quite a nice amount of water. Let's see, what makes... I guess the recycler, yeah, produces... Plastic and scrap metal and wood. So let's come about or go that way and we'll come about so that our front is in front. I kind of think of this as the front. Okay. So let's. So the scavenger produces wood or scrap metal. Let's build another scavenger right here. We'll raft, rescue them. All right, that also gives us a bit of resources. And then we can head up to the driftwood pile here. And get ourselves some wood. Alright. There we go. And it's being built now. slowly but it's being built and our evaporator is evaporating and the smelter is not smelting at the moment I guess yeah, it needs wood we really need a lot of wood a lot of wood Hey, a villager has been born. Nice. Alright, there's our second scavenger, which means that we pick up stuff faster. Which means that we can move along faster. Alright, that's done. So, let's come over here. And get this food pot pile. Alright, these are now producing, we can pause them, I, think I will pause that, we have a lot of metal as well, so let's pause that, gather up some wood so that we can build more stuff, 
I think I want... What if we did something like... This... Mm. And then we built a fissure here. So that we have two fissures here. We have the two scavengers there. And then we'll have two foragers kind of in the same way as the fissures. And we might even build out this way and get some in there as well. Let's see, our storehouse is at 407 of 600. So we probably need to build a storehouse. Let's do that over here. Mm, what's that? A trading ship. Okay, sure. Why not? There it comes. Okay, what do we have up here? We have a trading post, a city, sunken brewery, pool of fish, destroyed ship. I think we'll head over there next. All right, so that's two fishers going now. They want beer, water, bread, gasoline, and whale. Well, we can trade some water. What if we traded like 25 water? And then but maybe some beer and some meat. And what else? Let's see. What can we get? Wow, one cost, yeah. Okay. What do we really want? Uh, I mean, wood is always something we want. They do have that. Okay. I guess we'll do this. Confirm. Alright. Uh, let's head this way. And see, because there was a school of fish and a sh destroyed ship there. So let's go grab that. And then we'll figure out where we're going after that. Let's come about. So we want to be on... Well, how, how do we want to do this? Because we can't get... We can't really get in there. With the fish, anyway. And there's a scavenger and the forager in. And then when the ship is gone, we'll have to move in and get the fish as well. So let's have a look a while, around while this is going. There's a kelp forest and a school of fish. Uh, it's hard to see because of the clouds. Lord ship, floating crates, floating crates. Floating crates. Hmm. Alright, the ship is gone, so let's come over here so that our two fishers can get going. So... Hmm. I think I want to go over to that destroyed ship. Alright, we've almost depleted that. It's gone. Okay... Ooh, is that driftwood pile? Driftwood pile, nice. We're heading this way. Grab the destroyed ship and then the driftwood pile. I suppose we could do with a bit more water and also a bit more metal.
let's head over to this destroyed ship. And then we're going over to those two driftwood piles. There we go. Alright. So, that is going to round up the first episode of Buoyancy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, comment. And if you're playing the game yourself also, I am very happy to hear any suggestions and so on. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.